Okay, so here with uh, Chris Broad. He's just rung the bell on the Saturday at the Lord's Test match. How was that? Uh, quite nerve-wracking, actually. Um, I, I wasn't really sure what to expect, but uh, I think I did it okay. We'll see. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, how do you think the test is going so far? Obviously, Stuart's done really well. I, I mean, I think from an England point of view, it's uh, it's going extremely well. Uh, winning the toss, I think, was quite important. Uh, they managed to bowl almost the West Indies out on the first day and polished them off very early on yesterday. Uh, and to be in a position like they're in with a lead and still seven wickets um, uh, in, in charge, you know, it's, it's just fantastic. How proud are you when you see, you see Stuart going up on the honest board like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's, uh, he surprises me uh, a lot of the time as well. Uh, you know, I, I, having been in the game and, and still in the game, I, I know how difficult it is to perform on a regular basis and 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 he just continues to to impress um, and and I'm I'm just so proud of, of what he's doing and um, and the fact that you know my daughter's uh, in this in the uh, team dressing room at the moment she's the analyst for the England team and you know she's doing fantastically well so you know he gets all the headlines because of his performances out in the middle but you know Gemma's working hard behind the scenes as are you know, pretty much all of the England management as well. It's a bit of a family fair. Uh, oh, we're taking over the world. Absolutely. We're taking over the cricketing world. <laughs> and your, your father was here as well the last couple of days? Uh, my father enjoys, well, and my mother, uh, enjoys their cricket. And uh, my father is an MCC member and has been for some time. And whenever possible, I mean, he's 94 now, so uh, still remarkably strong. Uh, couldn't make uh, the, the matches here last year, but was... Uh, was definite that he was going to be up here this year and uh, made it for the first two days so he's, he's, he's seen some terrific action. I was going to mention the broad appeal as well, the charity you, you set up last year of course. Uh, you've got a dinner on the 24th of October? Well we've got a number of functions throughout uh, the summer. Um, we've had a golf day at Wentworth which went fantastically well. There's another golf day up in uh, in, in Leicestershire at Stubblecker Park on the 11th of July which again will hopefully be fantastically good. It's been sold out for a number of uh, weeks. Uh, and yes, the last two years we've been here at Lords and had a dinner in the long room. This year we're going the other end of the ground and hopefully joining forces with the PCA uh, to create a, a monster dinner, if you like. Um, but it, it, a lot of it is it's going to be shared between the benevolent fund of uh, the PCA but also the broad appeal. Uh, and it's a, a, another great opportunity to, to get the awareness of motor neurone disease uh, out there to people um, in the cricketing world. So we're delighted that, uh, that that's going to happen and, and delighted with the success that uh, that we have with the broad appeal. It's starting to grow legs and people are actually organising uh, fundraising events for motor neurone disease through the broad appeal, which is, which is fantastic. Excellent stuff. Uh, good luck with all that and have a good day today. Thank you very much.